Okay, let's jump right into it this morning. It's been about, oh, 15, 16 days since I've done my last video, which I admit I was a little riled up with. Um, and I'm still upset with the true crime community and so on and so forth. So I have made some uh, changes, not drastic in my view, but some things that I'm going to do, some things I'm not going to do. And this video is just an update because I've been getting a lot of emails about uh, what's going on and this and that. And I don't obviously think that I have to owe an explanation to anybody or anything. Uh, but for the people, the good people out there that subscribe to my channel and are fans of mine, of course, I'm going to treat with the utmost respect. Uh, it's the other people that uh, I don't owe anything to. So there's a couple of things I want to talk about. One is the break. It's been good, 15, 16 days. Uh, springtime, you know, on a little farm at which I live on, um, you know, there's so many things that you have to get ready and do. And I, I love being outdoors. I, I'm not a person to stay inside in a basement and type on a keyboard and things like that um, or just investigate 24-7. Although investigations run through my mind 24-7, I'm always thinking about cases, um, to actually sit down and do some research, I mean, I, I do love that aspect of it. But there's other parts of life that, you know, I have to go and do. And that's what I've been doing and um, I'll continue to do throughout the summer. But I will always, you know contribute to this channel especially some deep dives and I think that's what I'm going to be sticking to uh, I think I made up my mind that I'm not going to do any more current true crime there's just uh, it's just a lot of nonsense that I don't want to deal with or be a part of when it comes to that so I will stick to the older cases like I did in the beginning of this channel and that's the way that's going to play itself out now I disabled comments on YouTube and again you know so people took to the Twitter page which I don't check that much and said stuff like you cannot disable comments do not listen don't tell me what to do that's that's one of the biggest gripes that I have about this new internet the the comments you can review things like on my Amazon for my books you get on there and there's people that just doesn't they don't like me so they will trash you in the review session that's why I never look at reviews for anything because most of the people that leave reviews are idiots and they have grudges or whatever it is so I, I think the comment section for the internet is stupid there, I said it. And again, I don't care about the repercussions. You know what I mean? It's what I feel. You know, it gives, it gives people the liberty to say what they want without repercussions. It's not like it used to be. Hey, if you had something to say about me or somebody, you, you, you met face to face hey tell me what, what, what what'd you say so sometimes they would say it sometimes they wouldn't it would get back to you but now you knew who said it now with you know the comments I, I, I get a lot of great comments or I did they far outweigh the bad um, but it just gives you the really you get the opportunity to say what you want without repercussion. And I get that that's the freedom of speech, but 
But I don't think when our forefathers wrote that, that he had the internet in mind where people could speak so stupidly and be so rude about things. It's not always trolls, okay? These trolls or, or whatever, uh, those comments, uh, I, I got used to them a long time ago. It is just, I honestly don't care about other people's opinions on my videos. I don't care about them. I respect most of them, but I don't, I don't sit there and, you know, I don't have time to read a thousand comments. Some of them, like, are just so misinformed, and they're wrong. And there's a difference about giving opinions and being right or wrong, or being fact-driven. You might have all the great intentions in the world when you leave an opinion about a case, but it's wrong. Yeah, it's your opinion, but you're wrong. Now, how can I say you're wrong? Is it because it disagrees with me? No. I can... People that disagree, that's fine. But when it's wrong based on facts, it's just like being a veterinarian and you go to you know do surgery on an animal um, and, and you're not qualified and you don't know it's wrong yeah the outcome might be the same they lose a leg but how you went about it is wrong and the real vet will tell you that so when I'm looking at a case and I'm telling you hey because of X Y and Z this is the type of person that we're looking for. And then people get on there and say, no, you're wrong. It's this. Well, what's your training and experience? I don't go to your job and tell you that. To me, that's not a troll. That's just somebody that is, is wrong, has an opinion, and I don't care to read it. I don't care to have other people read it. It's not because you're disagreeing with me, okay? It's because the way you go about it. And I don't like it. I don't like comment sections on Facebook. I just think it's so stupid. And somebody had said, well, rude comments on your page go with the territory. And somebody else said, if you put yourself out there, that's what you get. See, those are the idiotic comments that make me turn off the comment section or to get off social media. Somebody else said, uh, you're not responding to me on Facebook, therefore, you know, you're a prima donna and blah, blah, blah. I don't, I don't have time to deal with that. Okay, I don't want to deal with it. I'm not going to deal with it. First of all, because you're famous, and I put that in air quotes because I don't feel I'm famous. Maybe I guess I'm famous in the genre or a celebrity because I was on television many times that that gives the people the right to say ignorant things to me. Uh, no. Whoever thinks that is an idiot. It comes with the territory. Well, what territory? Because I do case assessments, because I do cold cases, uh, because I have a YouTube channel, because I've been on television, because I've wrote books. Now, all of a sudden, it's okay that you treat this person like shit? No, it doesn't work like that. Okay, so the, pe the person that says that is an idiot. If you haven't noticed, I'm using the term idiot a lot because that are the people that are making me do these things. So the comment section is going to be turned off. I don't want to hear it. And again, if that makes you want to unsubscribe to me, and people act like that is such a, a big deal to me. I don't care. I didn't start doing this YouTube channel to see how many subscribers I could get. 
You know, that's just a number to me. The people that want to learn, who enjoy looking at this kind of stuff in these cases, will continue to be there. Half of them probably aren't even subscribed to the channel. Do whatever you want. You know what I mean? That's the freedom. I don't tell you what to do. Just like you shouldn't tell me what to do or any other quote-unquote celebrity. And as I said before, I'm not a social media guy. I'm not an internet guy. Uh, you're not going to see me with, you know, millions of followers on whatever. TikTok, uh, you know, I, whatever people, the younger generation wants to do, I, I'm okay with that. When I was 17 and 18 and the stuff that I did probably was frowned upon a by adults too. Well, now that I'm adult, even though that's, you know, an old adult, oh man, hard to think about. I, I don't want to do that. It's like I'm too old for that. I don't care about TikTok. I don't care about Facebook. I don't care about Instagram, Twitter. All that shit is just, it's nothing to me. You know, the only reason I have several of those platforms is for this show. Okay? That's it. I don't interact that much. I don't put uh, posts on there. Uh, it's, it's not, I don't live my life through social media. I think it's sad, to be honest with you, that people's celebrity or people's uh, fate rests upon likes. Isn't that crazy? That you can have a, a million likes because you're attractive or you're seductive. I just think it, it, it's stupid. You know, it should be, hey, what happened to look you in the eye, shake your hand, man of your word, woman of your word, and you're a good person. And that is how you are deemed and looked at in your town, in your society. It's not like that anymore. It's let's get on social media. Oh, they got a million likes. They must be a great person. <laughs> no, that's not true. Okay? I just, I, I think maybe I've become the grumpy old man, but I'm not, I'm not really grumpy. I just want to be left alone. Like in the Leonard Skinner song, Tuesday's Gone, you know? I just want to be left alone that's all okay uh, i enjoy my living in the mountains my farmette doing farm work landscaping whatever needs done woodworking manual labor and then looking at cases uh once a week that's what i enjoy doing and that's what i'm going to do because that's what life's about doing what you want what makes you happy okay regardless of what other people say and think. So for me, my mental happiness is turning off comments, not listening to Facebook, not because there's not, most of the time, great stuff said on there, but I don't need that pat on the back. I don't need to be told how great I am all the time. I appreciate it, but I don't care. None of that, all that social media stuff is just noise. If you like it, and you enjoy it, good for you. Okay, enjoy it. But don't tell me what I'm supposed to enjoy just because I'm a quote-unquote celebrity. I'm going to do what I want to do. And right now, it's I will do a cold case when I feel like it, when I have time to do it. I'll put it up for everybody to view. And I hope you enjoy it. Okay, but you're not going to be able to leave comments on my channel because I don't want to see them. Now, some of you idiots out there will say, well, don't look at them, Kenny. That's not the point. I know I don't have to look at them, but I don't even want them there. And then other people will say, well, the algorithm is now is going to be thrown off and you're not going to be recommended. I don't give a shit. None of that matters. Okay? Do the cases for the victims, the victims' families, law enforcement, whoever. Put it out there. 
And guess what? It's effective. Because just last week, I got an email from Vince Doan. Do you know who Vince Doan is? I talked about him. I did a whole week's worth of videos on the murder of Kerry Culberson. Vince Doan was arrested, he was convicted, and he was sentenced in that case. Well, he wrote me a letter because of my videos. So they're being watched, is my point. I'll get into what Vince had to say on another video. Uh, we exchanged a couple of, of letters there. So my point is, do your own thing. Don't cave to peer pressure. Do what makes you happy. I remember when I first broke into television on the History Channel. And the girl told me on the phone, your life is going to change because of this TV show. And she was right. It did change. All the agents... All the producers, they all came, they all trying to sign me, uh, pay me all this money for exclusivities. Um, people who said, well, you got to make your name into a brand and you need to get a social media team and pay them. What's their objective? They don't give a shit about me. I'm smart enough to realize that. It's all about the money for them. They're not going to do that stuff for me for free because they think I'm a TV star. No. They get 10% of whatever I do and this and that and the social marketing team. I got to pay them. I don't need that. Okay, because I don't care about it. There's other creators on YouTube that have million followers and they have zero law enforcement experience. Zero. Should I be upset about that? They're doing their own thing. Good for them. Right? I don't care. But because they chose that route and they engage in social media and they grow their following that way, good for them. I, I choose to do it a different way. By doing it my way. Period. End of story. I'm like Waylon Jennings, an outlaw country. You know, hey, if you make great music, you don't have to market it. Eventually, you it will get to you because of how good it is, how good the product is, and then you, you're grown that way. I tend to choose that path instead of all this fakeness that's out there. That's me, okay? I've learned a long time ago, people either love me or hate me. There is few middle grounds, and you can tell that by my Amazon reviews on my books. Uh, that's, that's fine, okay? You're always going to have that in life. But the internet just, it, it expands that so rapidly. And again, I, I have a problem with that part of the internet. The misinformation, the fakeness of it, the, the fact that people can say whatever they want without repercussion. Um, and honestly, in most of the comments, not most of the comments, I shouldn't say that, in some of the comments that I read, the pure stupidity of people. Period. Now, I guess in today's day and age, I'm not supposed to be able to say that, those things. Right? You can't hurt anybody's feelings. Well, listen, I, I never, and I'll go back 30 years, I, I never want to hurt anybody's feelings. I don't think you ever want to do that until it's time to do that. Okay? And when it's time to do that, then you don't worry about what other people think or how they feel. That's life. Okay, so if I hurt somebody's feelings by telling them they're stupid and they don't know what they're talking about when it comes to uh, assessing a, a cold case, 
If you get butt hurt over that, that's on you. That's not my problem. Don't come crying to me. Don't leave stupid comments and tell me I hurt your feelings. Okay? Don't leave the comment then. Here, now I'm getting riled up. I was nice and calm this morning. Took my blood pressure medicine. Everything was good. And I start thinking about the internet. And I almost got rid of it. And I almost deleted all my social media accounts. But then I thought, maybe I could just leave them and just not engage. You know, I never engaged much before, but I like to keep my, my loyal fans updated on some things. You know, let them in on some things, like a personal photograph and stuff. I don't like put, putting personal pictures and stuff out there. Everything's work-related. But every now and again, I like to do that because the fans that I get, the ones who send me gifts in the mail, the ones who, who do leave great comments for years, buy my books, send me little things. I mean, it's those people that I live for that I, I have the utmost respect for. Um, so I'm like, well, maybe I won't get rid of all of social media. I'll just... I just, I just don't like, I just hate it so much. I'm sorry. I'm, I just don't. But I have it because of you. And you know who you are. The loyal fans. The ones who want to be educated, want to know more. So maybe I will just not post as much. And I wasn't a lot before, but now it'll be a lot less. Maybe I should hire a... No, I'm not hiring. I'm not paying money for somebody to do my social media. That's out of the question. That's just wasting money. I'm not trying to grow anything. All I want to do is keep my fans informed. So maybe I should look for a volunteer to do that for me. Maybe that's the route I'll go. I don't know. It's just today's day and age, today's society, and with reading comments and reviews and stuff like that it just it sickens me you know it really does and that's why i choose to disable comments and i choose not to interact on social media um so i just wanted to get on and explain that and explain my absence i did leave a uh, a pretty lengthy response on the what is it? The Unsolved No More Facebook group. Uh, there's a lot of people there. And so I try to keep them informed of what's going on. And there was a lot of questions and comments, you know. And so I got on there and I explained why this absence and why I disabled comments. So if you want to know more about that, go to that Facebook group I guess and check it out but don't expect me to be there and engage a lot anymore because I just I went through why I don't do that maybe I'm an old getting to be an old prick maybe that's what it is but you know what I'm true to myself I and I, I encourage you you know some idiot and there I go idiot again and getting angry on my own fan page left a comment that why don't you uh, do a little bit less life advice in more cold cases? It is people like that that can say those things without repercussion. And I got to be a little pussy and just hit ban, block, whatever it is. Because that's all you can do on social media. Listen, I'll give life advice if I choose to. I will do cold cases if I choose to. I will not be dictated to. I don't like the government telling me what to do. Do you think that I'm going to let some Facebook pussy tell me what to do? No. Okay. Other stuff. I'm done with that for now. There's your explanations. Uh, maybe in the future I'll 
enable Facebook or YouTube comments. Maybe. But I've always gone against the grain. Just like when I was on News Nation and, and, all, and all that stuff. And I wouldn't agree with what they said. And they cut me short and all this and that. People, you don't have... If, if there's other YouTube creators out here, don't feel that you have to have comments enabled. You don't have to appease everybody. Appease yourself. That's all that matters. My mental health has gone, has been great since I disabled those comments. I had it on there that you had to approve every one. It, I'm not very tech savvy, but I figured out how to not do that. And But still, I was looking at all these comments, hundreds and then thousands, and I don't have to deal with it anymore. I'm still getting subscribers. Apparently, you know, people think that that matters. I've never one time, or maybe I did once on one special occasion, but other than that, I never asked for your subscription. I never asked for your like, yo, this is your boy Kenny. Don't forget to hit the notification bell, like, and subscribe. I hate that shit. People know whether they want to like and subscribe. They don't need you to tell them, hey, this is your boy and this is your girl. And So stupid. You guys know what I'm talking about. You've seen it. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. If you don't, don't. If you want to hit like, hit it. I'm not begging for it. Okay? You guys know whether you want to do it or not. You're not idiots. Oh, wait. Some of you are. But I digress. <sighs> Vince Dome, Bill Nagara. Um, off of death row. Got a letter from him the other day. He uh, He's doing well. He's adjusting. Um, go to his website, his news letter you know he'll tell you more about it than i can i will write him a letter back again i respect him um i don't respect his crime i understand his crime just like i understand a lot of people's crimes um it's no excuse i'm not going to get into it here there's other videos i did about bill nagara but he should be back in the fold in a month or two kim tilly Kim Tilly is an author who wrote this book, Grievous Deeds. On the back of it, and she sent me this book. There's a quote on there from a detective. It says, cold cases, especially old historical ones, need to be meticulously researched and written about in order for justice to have the opportunity to swing its prophetic hammer. Kimberly Tilly has made sure that this has been done properly here. Detective Ken Mains, host of the Unsolved No More show and History Channel's Hunt for the Zodiac Killer. That's right, I gave Kim an endorsement on this because she does very good research. So when this is available, go to Amazon, her webpage, whatever it is, and buy it. Um, and that's all I'm going to talk about today. Might be in another couple weeks, but I will be doing a cold case before uh long but again i got a lot of wood to cut i got brush to clear i got animals to take care of and that takes priority right now i hope i didn't offend anybody with this video no wait a second i don't give a shit if i offended anybody all right if i offended you maybe you should go look somewhere else but if you enjoy my content here and what I have to teach and the life lessons that I have to give, stay tuned. I'll be back. Just taking a little break. All right? That's it. Thanks for tuning in again to Unsolved No More, where we do things our way. And I encourage you to do things your way. Don't cave in to pressure. To say that you need to be this and you need to be that. You don't have to. Be true to yourself. There's only one person that looks in the mirror with you every morning. And that is yourself. Okay? Remember that. Mains out. Yeah, let's talk about.